Time now to catch up with the mayor of the city of Plymouth, Jeff Washi, to find out what's new in the city. And we're going to keep you active. Welcome, Mayor. How are you today? I'm doing great, Dave. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being with us. Let's talk first about a big wintertime event that's coming up in February. So get it on your calendar. Tell right. us about Fire right. and Ice. Yeah, so we have our annual winter celebration uh, called Fire and Ice coming up. It's February 3rd. It'll be from 3 to 6.30. And we're going to have all the traditional. Rotary is going to be doing the youth fishing. Uh, uh, contest. We're going to have hockey tournaments, ice skating, um, the um, recycling bin right. <laughs> races are going to be there. All sorts of stuff are going on. It's a big community celebration. So come out, plan to come out and put it on your calendars for February 3rd. And let's talk the location now. This isn't just in a park somewhere. This is very right. special. On the ice, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> to do the ice fishing, we need to be on a lake. So it's on Parker's Lake. Then we hold it there every year. It's a great spot for it. So hopefully the weather will cooperate this year. We'll have a great event. Yeah, come on ice on the lake. Let's get going. <laughs> let's talk about the community center and the great ways to stay active during the winter season. First, let's talk about walking and jogging. Plenty of spaces to do that. Right, and Plymouth really encourages our residents to maintain a healthy lifestyle and to be active throughout the winter. So one way, instead of being not being or, or freezing your tush off, so to speak, <laughs> right. uh, is we have walking in the indoor track at the new community center. And if you want a little bit faster pace, we have the field house, which has the, out, uh, the track on the outside of the, the soccer and play field area. So. There's two couple options for people to stay active All right, that way. again, some websites to check out, PlymouthMN.gov slash PCC for community center hours, mm -hmm. and then PlymouthMN.gov slash Fieldhouse for mm -hmm. Fieldhouse specific hours. Open play in gym time. Okay, I want to play a little basketball or pickleball. Right. Where can I go? You go to the community center. Okay. So there's open, check the calendar, check the website, but there are open times where you can play badminton, um, and you said pickleball or basketball or different sports. They're also at the field house, play soccer or football or rugby or something, there's times to play open play there as well. All right, another website to take a look at is PlymouthMN.gov slash open gym to find out of those open gym times. Okay, let's go to the younger ones. There's this thing called the cube that's very popular. Right, it's a kid's ultimate backyard experience. Right. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. But that's where kids two to 12, have outdoor or outdoor playground inside, so 7,000 square feet of indoor playground, so they don't have to be out in the cold. They can come in and be in the warm weather. All right, you see the fun they're having. PlymouthMN.gov slash cube to find out more <laughs> about the hours there. Final note, holiday lights, you've got this set up as well for a great experience. That's right, Dave. At the Hildy Performance Center, we've done this three, four years in a row now. It's all lit up and for our residents to come so you can park at the Veterans Memorial next to City Hall or over in the Lifetime, the Ice Center area. Uh, and come and enjoy the lights and enjoy the festive season. All right, there we go. The mayor says keep busy in Plymouth during the winter, and now <laughs> you have ways to do that. Thanks, Mayor. Yep. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, Dave. Learn more about the connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media. <laughs>